Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and today I'm working excited to bring you, um, this is Happy Places, Royal Trends, uh, brand new out, and, uh, they're so cool, so this one is the, uh, Fabulous Fox Vanity, and, let's see, these new ones come with cool, it says new Easy Pop skirt, so I think the f fox is a new character for the for the Petkins this season. Uh, this is for Asians 4 and up. I just want to admire the boxing here. If you guys can check that out. it's It's got this um, holographic texture or to it. And you can see like it looks like a crown. And then jewels on it. It's pretty cool. And then when you turn it around, the other side of the crown has some cool uh, rickrack floral type prints. And the girl that's exclusive to here, her name is Princess Glossy. I believe a new character to the Happy Places universe and to shoppies in general. Uh, it says on the back here, Welcome to the land of royal trends where happiness never ends. Your little shoppie has become a beautiful princess with her easy pop skirt. Now she is ready to impress with her party dress. Help decorate the royal castle with cute peckin' accessories. There are so many royal faces to make more happy places. So, um, ooh, ooh, it says that there's some of them have shiny gems in them. Oh, I can't wait to open this up. So this is part of the castle set. I haven't seen the castle in stores yet. In fact, I found this by accident on a shelf that I don't think it belonged to. Uh, we also have, uh, coming up tomorrow, uh, another set from the Royal Trends. But uh, let's just get into this. So I'm going to open it up and we'll see what's inside. So before we actually take a look at our set, uh, we do have a little bit of a checklist here. I, guess, I actually think they call it a catalog. Um, it says happy, uh, Royal Trends ha uh, Shopkins Happy Places on it. And it has a picture of four girls on the front. Oh boy, this is exciting. This is our first look at the uh, checklist here. Um, it looks like it says the same thing in here that it said on the back of the box. Uh, we have Princess Moonbeam with the uh, Moon Bunny Bedroom. Ooh, that's a cool set. I don't even remember seeing her in any um, any leaked pictures. Uh, we also have um, Princess Glossy with the Fabulous Fox Vanity. That's what we, who we have today. And then let's see what we have on the back here. Um, we have Princess Pretty Pressy, which this is the first time I think we're going to see her in Little Shoppy version. Um, with the Squirrel Palace Party. So squirrels are also new to the Petkins world. And then we have uh, Princess Katie Pops um, for the Sweet Kitty Candy Bar. That's an interesting set, too. I think Katie Pops is also another new character. So that's cool. And um, are these... Okay. So they don't show any of the other... I, I'm assuming there's going to be single packs as well. But those are the... I guess there's four There's four packs. You're going to get the candy bar, the palace party, and the vanity set, and then the bedroom set, which I guess these two are kind of kind of go together. Um, anyhow, let's, let's... I've already wasted, you know, four minutes of this video talking about things that we haven't we don't even have in front of us. So let's um, grab out, let's see what we have here first. So here is the vanity itself. It doesn't look like we have any blind bags in this set. Okay. So it's, it's a light blue with a little bit of a darker blue uh, top. And you can see the fox face with the fox ears coming out. And on top of the vanity, we're going to see some detail work here. Let's see if we can get it to focus. We have a brush and we have a, um, a makeup brush and a hairbrush that are both painted white. That's pretty cool. And then our drawers, we have um, two bows, on, a bow on each side that are pink. And then we have like these little crown designs down here in the blue. And we have um, a magenta, like a pinkish purple gemstone on each. Now these gemstones are, um, they feel, pl they're plastic, but they're cool. Yeah, so, um, and I think this might be, this might open up on top. It looks like it does. Let's see here. Are the drawers open? Let's, let's figure this out. 
All right, the top part did not open, just these ones do. So it's a very shallow drawer, but you can probably fit some small accessories in there, maybe hairbrush or, or I don't know what kind of accessories I might have to put in there, but the bottom one doesn't, the bottom two don't open, but it's hollow underneath. So, I mean, if push came to shove, you probably could put something under there and just put it on top. But uh, that's, that's going to be our vanity. And we'll pull out the mirror next. So here is our vanity top mirror. I don't know if this kind of goes to the, on the top or not. Um, I guess you could put it right here. Yeah, like that. So um, you, it also has a fox face with fox ears. It has a painted blue crown on top. And then it has the matching... Well, it has, it has a darker pink bow to go with its light pink base. So that's pretty cool. Um, our next one, I think, is the chair. And we have a vanity chair here. Um, it's all plastic, but these are like molded on cushions that make it look comfy. And there's the face, our fox face. It is done in a light pink with a dark pink cushions. And we have a blue bow to match the vanity. So that would just tuck under here a little bit. So not that, um, not that all of them, they never really had names officially, but the, the checklist usually did come with what they actually were. I, I, I'm guessing that this is supposed to be an ottoman. It does have a cushion on top of it, a cushion-like thing. Done on a light pink and then a dark pink base. We have light blue bows on each side, and then we have a light blue crown with a fox face. Now, it's hollow in the middle. It's squishy. So my, it led me to believe that this, this top part opens, but I can't seem to get it open. I don't know if it's stuck or if it's just not supposed to come off and I thought it did. But I'm going to go with it's not supposed to come off and I thought it did because I don't want to break it. So my guess on this, it, it's, um, it's pearlescent pink. You can see the crown on it if I can get it to focus. It's per, pearlescent pink. You can see the crown on top and then you can see a squinting fox. Um, it does have a, um... A hinge on the back, so I believe it opens. I think it's supposed to be like a, a jewelry box. Oh no, it's a makeup case. So it's like a caboodle, I think, or a makeup case. Because you can see inside here, let's see if that even focuses for me. You can see like the hearts on the top and then on the bottom, so that would be an applicator. So I guess that's what that little brush goes to. So cool. Um, put that up there, I guess. And then we have one more piece before we get to our girl. It shows her holding it here. I, I don't really know what it is. I don't know if it's a sippy cup. My guess is it's some kind of perfume. But um, it's pearlescent. But it also fades into a pink paint. So it's it's got the ombre effect. But in the pearlescent and, and solid paint. So it's pretty cool. It's a cool looking piece. But I'm going to go ahead and put that on the vanity as well. So there's our vanity guys. Uh, let's get our girl. Okay, so here is Princess Glossy herself. Um, the first thing I noticed off bat, and I hate I hate to notice things that are bad, but if you look really, really close, um, she has metallic pink lips. They are actually a little bit off on her mold, on her head mold. So uh, the lips are a little bit, like, look smeared, but they're just, the press missed the, the right spot. So it was kind of sad. Um, also, she has a little bit of um, white paint smeared. In her eye pupil, um, you can see that as well. That I might be able to get that off. I don't know. She has um, a light pink eye, and if you look, you can also see that she has crowns in the middle of them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. She has really, really super light blue hair that's done in a heart bun to the top and to the side, and then she has this really cool metallic dark pink crown. It's got a lot of detail in it. But uh, even the crown itself a little bit, if you look really close to it, it's got a little bit of um, paint chip on it. So, um, But let's move on to our outfit here. It's done in a light pink, dark pink, and turquoise detail work. We got going on there with a lot of a lot of different details, and then our tights are pink and they have like little swirls in them. It's kind of hard to pick up on the camera here. Let's see if I can get that to show up. If you guys can see that, 
and then her shoes are painted in that dark metallic -y type pink that's on her dress. And she has kiss kiss marks on the top of her on the tips of her shoes and then on her dress as well. This is removable as with all little shoppies and you have like a little bathing suit underneath so they can go swimming. Now this is supposed to be her day dress. She, when she's out during the day, but when she's at night, she wants an evening dress. So uh, you have this bottom skirt that um, came separate as a piece that you put on. Um, it looks okay. There's a piece of plastic in there. So it looks like it just wraps right on her. So like, we're going to try that out. And uh, you guys can see the detail work on this. Same coloration. So you also have that signature lip mark on her. Okay, that seamlessly went together. You can't even tell where one dress starts and the other one begins. That looks beautiful. Uh, way to go, Moose. I really like that. And, of course, she comes with a stand, which is awesome. I always appreciate it when they come with stands. The only thing, the only ones that didn't come with stands, I think, were the mermaids. But there she is. There's our girl. And there's our set. And that's pretty much all we have for you guys today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.